Hi everybody, welcome back to Adobe Live. I am Kevin Lee with Johnny Vino. The hey. amazing Johnny Vino. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> hey! Um, how is everyone doing today? It's the last day of 2019 Adobe yeah. Live uh, UX UI design. Yeah, it's so the last, sad. Yeah, last reaching, stream, yeah. right? Oh my god, where is everybody from? Watching the last stream of the year, 2019. 2018, yeah. coming up to okay. 2019. Okay. Hello, David, Tiana, and Daniel yeah. White is here joining us. He was in our uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, stream today. Aditya, Andrea, Tiana, Colin. Oh, thank you, Colin. He was like, <laughs> oh my God, code is awesome. Thank you. Um, Suyak, hello. Oh, so much love. Yeah. Oh my God, Vlad's from Denmark, Canada. Amazing. Thank you, Daniel. They Kevin looking dead. fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, yeah, so today, you guys, it's the last stream. Mm -hmm. And uh, with, we're with Johnny Vino, and he yeah. is going to be uh, showing me and showing you guys um, more like favorite plugins for Adobe XD yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that is going to happen in a minute. Yeah. But you guys, make sure to submit your portfolios. It is portfolio uh, day today where we will select two people that submit their portfolios where me and Johnny Vino will give you feedback and look over like two to three projects. And also, uh, make sure to just stick with us, please, because you guys please. love us and Johnny Vino. Um, and make sure to log in and we will start the chat and win, which one lucky person will win the Adobe XD plugin. Uh, angle, which angle. they provide like 500 plus mock-ups and oh my god, look at all wow. these mock-ups. The perspectives. I love perspective. Like the perspective, yeah. like the angle. That's why it's called yeah. angle because the mock-up yeah. is in the angle, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice name. Oh my god, wow. So yes, please stick with us and we will do a chat and win in about like 30 style minutes. Icon Kevin Lee. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. Suyog style icon Kevin Lee. Thank you guys Thanks, for everyone, all the for love. Joining. What was that? No, I said, like, thanks everyone for joining. Yeah, right? Perfect. So, what are we going to be doing today, Johnny Vino? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, I have, like, a little agenda. So, first, I'm going to talk about, like, a small, like, a BMA calculator animation. Yes, because yesterday we were talking about food. Yeah. And we were like, wait a minute. we got Today, we have to, like, maintain the diet. Diet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. So, second thing is, like, a favorite plugins. Because I love plugins. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it makes it so lazy. <laughs> yeah, it just like helps you design quicker yeah. for Adobe XD. Uh, yeah. So just look at what we are going to. I made like a video. Uh, so this is the BMI calculator from Google. Like they have this concept. So how we oh, can make yeah. this like more interesting, appealing. Like, yeah, more interactive and like more oh. excited to the user. Yeah, because that's giving... like a standard yeah. BMI. Like it's, it's nice, like, but we can make it better. Yeah, we can yeah. make it like more fun. Why can't we make it more fun? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to make this like a small animation today. Oh, <gasps> ooh. So it's like you're entering your weight. Oh my god. You're going to enter your height. Oh, so cool. Uh, so we'll be learning that all today. Yeah, it's all today. Wow. Okay. I'm super uh, stoked for that, you guys, or everybody. Cool. Hello, Jordan. Yes, I did get can a haircut. <laughs> Oh, uh, Daniel, that. Julius, you rolled Julius. Uh, Suyog mentions Poppy from Poppy. yesterday. <laughs> Everyone love Poppy. See the branding. <laughs> the branding, yes. P we're getting our name out there. Cool. Yes. So Thank let's you start. for all the love, everybody. Okay, let's start doing it. Yes. But I, I'm using blue color. It's fine. But it's a light blue. Yes. A lot of people <laughs> are giving you hate about using blue. But today, it's I think we'll make an exception yeah. for Johnny to use blue. What do you guys yeah, think? Please forgive me. <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. So you have the... Oh, you have all the design assets for like high fidelity? Yeah. But oh, I'm yeah. going to start from like... Scratch. Because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use like little icons. Ooh. Uh, and where did you get these icons? Did you make them or did yeah, you? Yeah, I made I made it. Nice. Icons. That's very cool. Yeah. So first, initially, uh, we start with the guide guy, mm -hmm. as you know. <laughs> Shameless plugin. <laughs> Shameless. Uh, yesterday and Tuesday, mm -hmm. they were sponsoring for our Chapman Price mm -hmm. guide guide, where you can manipulate, you know, the guides and grids, yeah. which is awesome. Okay, cool. 
just to make sure we are on the grid yes um it's in the standard grid yes yeah, standard grid yes. uh we can start with this, like small like because i want to give Ooh. the concept like you are flying because we have like a portfolio review to the space today mm -hmm. so i'm going to give something like a cloud on the top oh nice know what i mean just to fit the portfolio review space thing yeah it's like yeah. instead of giving like a small like a round or uh -huh. like a flat rectangle i'm going to give like small like a cloud so that it looks more cool ooh and if uh, you're just joining us we are with johnny vino and we are making a BMI calculator with yeah. micro interactions. Yeah. Nice. So make sure to stick with us. Just say something in chat and you are automatically Select entered quick. for chat and win. Oh wow, so you're using different shapes yeah. of the circles to have a cloud effect. Yeah, so at the end you feel like it's a cloud. And you have to use like different wow. bubble sizes so it feels like more realistic instead of using the same Ooh, round. Okay. Uh, so my principle is I always have like a uh, like a header bar, like more creative instead of having a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I try like a wave button or like a cloud. Yeah. So you should feel like you're coming to a new app instead yes. of like like a typical apps, you know. And speaking of cloud, yeah. our new, the new Adobe XD update. Yeah. They finally <laughs> gave you guys a cloud uh, feature where you can upload your files mm. with other uh, team members yeah. to collaborate or share files and uh, it auto saves for you, which is mm. amazing. Because mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people have been asking about uh, the cloud feature on Adobe XD. So yeah, we exactly. finally have it, you guys, and there's gonna be more features um, for the cloud. So stay tuned for 2019. 2019. 2019 is going to be a huge year huge for year. Adobe XD or Adobe in general. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use like really big font because <laughs> that's the only thing you want. Um, yes, Aji, it would be so cool to win the plugin today. So keep on chatting up, log into your Behance, and you might be the winner for the plugin. So that's why I'm going to us. show like some one cool plugin. Like if we go to plugin and if I click change case. Uh huh. Uppercase. Yeah, uppercase. Like oh, since we so don't have an XD, it's like super yeah. quick for me. Oh. To do it. Nice. Um, I think there is a uppercase feature, but. Uppercase feature? Yeah. But nice. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm going to make something like a small rocket flying to the sky. Sky? Or to space? Yeah. <laughs> space. Uh, we can reduce maybe the opacity. You may not know this plugin, I'm, I'm sure. Do you know this plugin? Which one is it? Uh, the shape changer. Yes, oh, that's my favorite. It like, yeah. you can make different types of shapes, shapes right? right? On yeah. that one? Yeah. Uh, wow, so you are using plugins on plugins in such a quick change, just yeah. like that on Adobe XD. That's what I love, Yeah. the plugin. So Vlad recommends maybe mm. making some more uh, of the circles, like behind the white circles, uh, mm. have lower opacity to give it some depth. Yeah, that's a good maybe. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe try that. <laughs> Chan says, Kevin, make Johnny laugh. <laughs> we okay. should just start the show start. of us just laughing. Yeah, we are going to start Someone needs like to a make a... <laughs> oh, what? this is cool. See yeah. That? Oh, I like... Do that you? actually gives a lot more depth. Yeah. Good so, suggestion. I love that. That's really nice. Yeah. More depth. Yeah, I just like copied everything and just like move the group. Mm -hmm. So it looks more cool. Let me try flipping it. Ooh. Yeah, instead of having the same structure, if you flip it, it looks like more real. Yeah, know. it's not like you just like copied and yeah. pasted it. It's like a different direction. That's a cool suggestion. How do you make white iPhone on your Behance project? Oh yeah, Suyok asked, uh, how do you make the white iPhone? The white iPhone? Yeah, like maybe uh, the mock-ups that you... Yeah, did? the white, it's like simple, like with the rectangle. Yeah. Like you can just create a rectangle with like a shadows. 
Oh, for the iPhone? Yeah, for the iPhone. It's like you can create everything in XD. Yeah, copy and paste it yeah, and then yeah. put it behind it. Mm -mm. Yeah, very cool. So I'm going to just copy my rocket because I spent so much time. Yes, I agree, Ajit. Uh, the plugin that he is using would really save a lot of time. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, and just plugins in general, just like yeah. click away and you are like done. <laughs> I also like the how frequent they are making plugins, you know? Every day there is like five plugins, new plugins. Isn't that awesome that like the yeah, whole it's, UX community? Yeah, like, it's like everyone is like, oh, I, I, I can make one plugin. <laughs> Launch the rocket. Would you ever make a plugin? Uh, no. Really? I think you'd be really good at it. Making plugin? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really appreciate the compliments. What, <laughs> what compliment you got? Just your typical compliment about the <laughs> hair, the jacket. But what about Johnny Vino's swag? Swag? What swag? Swag. You're like... <laughs> you're just cool in general. And... Uh... I'm going to use some like a funny font today. Love this font. Maybe. Like Comic Sans? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Comic Whenever Sans. I see Comic Sans, I like I cringe like... a little bit. I'm like, does anyone else like just cringe when they see bad like font? typefaces or typography? Yeah. Oh. Because I feel the font will go with the theme. Do you know the Corp Sans? It's like... It's really oh, it's like, like a oh, cloudy. Kids, yeah, cloudy, like a kids, like more like casual. Uh huh. Uh, it's really cool. I feel in it shows for a. I really like the round edges for the serifs, like mm. the the sans serif. Yeah. Rounded edges. Okay, we are almost ready. Ooh, cool. The first kind is ready. See, that's just so pretty, like right now, just yeah. like. Yeah, instead of having like a boring like a screen, like make it something interactive, but like, always cool. And you did it so quickly too. Yeah. I also like the recommendation they mentioned, the cloud background, it's like, really nice. Tiana agrees. She's like, yes, awesome. I cringe all the time, especially when a design uses too many typefaces. Terrible. Ooh. <laughs> Artem says clout. Clout. Instead of cloud, clout. <laughs> I like that is my friend called Josh. He's the he's pro, he's my schoolmate. Oh, which one's your friend? Josh. Jo Josh oh, Sesha. Ho Jose? Josh Sesha. Oh, Josh Sesha? Yeah. Oh. He's my nice. school friend. Okay. See, we got some love and uh, for Johnny Vino. So Jeet says uh, to make a plugin Ajit. for Clean Mug. Ask to make. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you know? <laughs> you, I, do I have a website which, which you can create a mock-up. Like if you just... Create, really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe I can like... That's a good idea. I can put that here. As a plugin, yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah. That's awesome. Laura says that she wants to see us dance. She is uh, to Later dance. in the stream. So we're going to be doing that. Johnny Rockets. <laughs> okay. The Burger Diner Johnny <laughs> Rockets, Tim. <laughs> Okay, so we are done with the screen. So next screen I'm going to... <laughs> Siriaf says Johnny Vino is the Bob Ross of UI UX design. Bob Do you know Ross? who Bob Ross is? No, who is that? He's this like uh, amazing artist that's like, he has like a super calm voice. <laughs> hmm. And like he made a lot of um, like illustration tutorials like a, a while ago. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, he has such a calm voice and like he's super <laughs> cool and chill. That's nice. Yeah. And if you guys are just joining us today, we are with Johnny Vino and we are making micro interactions uh, with uh, a BMI calculator. BMI calculator. And then also going to be talking about other plugins uh, for Adobe XD later in the stream. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure you guys just stick with us, log into your Behance, and uh, just if you chat anything on the chat, you're automatically um, submitted to uh, be part of the chat and win, which is the winner will receive a one year uh, subscription to Angle, the Adobe XD plugin. Angle. And they provide like 500 plus mock ups, you guys, in different perspectives, which is so cool and like yeah. so helpful. Yeah, I always use like perspective, you know, it, it gives like a pro look. Automatically, mm -hmm. you don't need to do anything. Yeah. And later today, you guys, we will be uh, reviewing portfolios. So yeah, submit portfolio those portfolios time. on yeah, the tab on the side of the chat. 
So. Yeah, I remember I'm making portfolio. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Vlad <laughs> says Bob <laughs> Ross passed away. Wow, really? <laughs> That's really Johnny sad. Says. Rip. <laughs> It's okay, he's still in our hearts, and he is on Netflix. Yes, yeah. Tiana, yes. Oh, yeah, but Bob Ross did have your kind of, like, hairstyle, like oh, a puffy, really? like, puffy top. Yeah. My parents are so angry on this hashtag. They are like, cut your hair. <laughs> it's okay, you'll do the man bun. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Later, yeah. Also, I like to have the back button on the bottom, you know. I don't know why I was having at the top. My phone uh -huh. is like really big. I have to go to the top. Oh, it's also like how you're holding your yeah, phone, Yeah, it's right? like, like if you're thumbs. using a phone like in one hand, it's like, okay, here is a neck, here is a back, you know? Yeah. It's easy to... Instead of reaching all the way up yeah. on the top left screen. That's a good point. Yeah. Like how you're holding your phone. Mm -hmm. Maybe for weight slider. Uh, could you like a small slider? Ooh. Yes, we love our slider. I love slides. Daniel, we are so grateful that you are learning so much. Uh, Johnny Vino is super talented and I am learning as, so much as well. So stick when with us. I started two years. <laughs> That's why you said. James <laughs> says they're still making Chia Pets of Bob Ross. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Chia Pets? Like no. ch -ch -ch -chia. <laughs> they just like grow. Like I had the Scooby Doo one. Oh, you had Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Renee, we are reviewing portfolios today, so make sure to submit your Behance portfolio, and we will be reviewing it later in the stream. First, we can collect the way, right? Oh yeah, because you gotta enter your weight yeah. for a BMI calculator. I'm gonna put kg because I know kg, but in the US people use lobs, right? Mm -hmm. um, I love this like timer. Oh, where it, you can like yeah. adjust it? Yeah, it's like so cool. Oh, so we're doing uh, kilograms. Oh, kilo yeah. Nice. Do we, do we calculate in kilogram or lobs? We do pounds. Oh, pounds, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of like scared to like move to another country because of the metric system. <laughs> like, oh, That's I need fine. to learn a whole new metric system. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're the only country that uses pounds or something. Yeah. I think so. Also miles. Oh, miles, yeah. Yeah, I'm like. Oh yeah, how is that? Um, like yeah, initially when I started, like I thought I'm like, oh, it's like 0 0.1 miles, so oh, it's going to be like really. <laughs> if it's like one mile, I thought okay, it's one kilometer or something, so I can walk. Then oh, it would be like so long. Wow. Yeah, like I would think it would be difficult. Yeah. To go from pounds to. Yeah. Um, kilograms. Okay, let's assume. Seahawk <laughs> says, Comic Sans walks into a bar. The bartender <laughs> says, we don't serve your type here. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> you know, one time I saw a graphic design uh, mm. job position, like uh, an ad for a graphic with a designer. Comic sans? With the Comic Sans. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, no, I'm not coming. They probably did it purposefully, like oh, as really? a joke. But I, I was like, no way. I don't know how to show weight in a more fun way. What is it? Ooh, so, oh, so you're deciding what you want to showcase there? Yeah, I'm, I mm -hmm. want to show something like visually, like a weight kilogram falling down, like a small box. Oh, for like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, like a, a visual. Yeah, people. it's like when you go for a shop. I don't know if people nowadays using a. We go for a shop to buy some fruits. They have uh -huh. this like a small block. Uh, to calculate weight. Do you know what is that? Oh, I think I know what you mean, but yeah. it's like just to show the customer like, yeah. this is how much more weight you're yeah. putting in. Yeah. So the one thing we have to remember, like while, nice. we have to group everything so that we can do animation. Mm -hmm. uh, because if I don't group, for example, if, I, if I'm not grouping and if I'm doing this above, 
uh-huh. will go out of the screen yeah so to make sure you group everything oh that's awesome yeah. and you just said with like command g yeah command g and yeah. remove everything so it will be in the group i like that because it's not like separated yeah. it'll all stick together when you do your micro interactions yeah yeah maybe 50 okay Eric, wait for my K-pop album coming in 2019. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> K-pop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That would be terrible. I, I'm thinking do you, do you do you listen to the song like Apple Pen, Pineapple Pen? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like perfect for that song. You know who people compare me to? Hmm. Sai. <laughs> Sai. Like the Gangnam style guy? Yeah. I'm like I went to a grocery store and like these two women like freaked out. They're like, "Oh my god, like we love you." But I'm like, "Thank you." I just like like played along with it. Mm. And then they're like, "It's freaking sigh." Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you cool? It's ready. Well, I appreciate the love, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so Vlad has asking, mm. "Why is the first screen blue and mm. the rest are green?" Is there like a curious reason for that or Yeah, I'm thinking of like giving it different colors for different section. So this is oh. a weight section. Oh, yeah, for each section it'll yeah. be color coordinated. So this is like weight section I'm going to green. I like that. So height section will be pink. Mhm. Uh so the home screen will be blue. So since it's like we are trying to make like really like like a really zen x style. Yeah. Uh, so it's not for millennials or like really old people. So it's like for really young people. So I make it like more colorful and like easier. Yeah, easier to differentiate. Okay, which mode we are in instead of yeah. having the same. I like that because like if you use the same color, some people yeah. might get lost and yeah. it just brings more personality for each section. Yeah. I'm gonna look up this one. This guy I drawn today. And if you guys are just joining us today, we are with Johnny Vino and he is designing a BMI calculator uh and showcasing micro interactions with our animation tool and later we he will be going over his favorite plugins for Adobe XD. But make sure to uh stick with us for a little longer, little less than six and a half minutes and log into your Behance to uh be a part of chat and win. All you have to do is just say something in chat and you're automatically submitted to win a 1-year subscription of Angle, the Adobe XD plugin for mockups. See, cool. you're getting some likes on these colors. Oh, really? It's like I like these colors so much. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> this is not this is a pale color. I really like that. It's it's not super bright. Mhm. Mm it's like really subtle. And I like how the tone or yeah. like the the hue of each color is like yeah, kind of the like same. Yeah, it's like if you see like I think this blue is a little bit brighter. Brighter. Yeah. yeah. So maybe tone it. Yeah, it's like a yeah, collection of colors that Yeah, if you maintain a match. collection of color, it will not feel too much, but if you maintain like random colors, it will be like feel like awkward or like not consistent. Yeah, it, it it don't feel like a harmonious like flow. No. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hello Beck Nelson, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Good morning, it's evening. I am in Egypt. Wow. Egypt? I really like the how people from different countries in yeah. different time. Everyone <laughs> from everywhere is watching you today. Yeah, it's no pressure. So <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done. Nice. So, um you designed quickly the uh quickly. like the normal weight BMI and yeah. then entering your weight, entering your height. Yeah. And you actually made a thing where the person gets larger when the person's taller. Yeah. When they like, swipe. If you swipe, the person gets taller. Wow. So now, these little small little changes. Yeah, I'm thinking of difference. like maybe in next version we have have a different genders like okay, if it's a male, male Male maybe. or female? Yeah, maybe yeah. female. Maybe add that. Because like it's different for <laughs> yeah. uh, the genders. Uh, I think I'm almost done. Nice. I think the cool one I'm going to show you. Uh huh. Okay, we, we the cool feature I really like in Adobe XD is like once you 
How does like a magic? Ooh. Lower opacity. Like this type of blob. So in yes. XT, everything they consider a, has a vector. Uh huh. Know what I mean? So I'll show you how it's going to animate. It's really cool animation. Oh, wow. It's like a quick pattern yeah. that you're doing. Just like that, just manipulating the shape, distorting it. Yeah. Wow. And then you're using the um, reverse tool. Yeah, the rotation tool. Rotation tool. tool. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm going to do this. That's amazing. Just a quick pattern, just like that. Wow. So if you change the pattern like this, mm -hmm. you'll see the, maybe this is like too much. Oh, that little like yeah. bump. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zeryab says, I worship white space and design. Same as, yeah, I think I do too. What mm -hmm. about you? Which one? Uh, white space and design. Yeah. Yeah, because like, yeah. I like how you put the pattern, but there's still like room, breathing yeah. room, even with the cloud. Yeah. And speaking of the cloud, you guys. Yeah, that will do update. that. Yeah, instead of filling the whole screen with some data. Yes. Like balancing like 30%, 70% will make you like really good UI. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can try this. Okay, I'm going to drag this launcher here. Drag. Maybe it automatically. I need to add one other screen. Ooh. Yes, now I said it's cool. It won't make people be boring of the app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although it's like a diet app, people go, like, oh, why I need to check diet, you know? Yes, I feel like everyone should. Yeah. Do. Make it fun. We'll make, make it fun. Yeah. Right. We'll make sure everyone will like just use it. And you guys, we are just in two minutes until the chat and win countdown. So make sure to log into Behance and uh, say something in chat to be entered to win a one year subscription to uh, Angle in Adobe XD plugin. So stick with us for just a little longer. Wow. Okay. So. Now I'm we're going, going to, to get into micro interactions. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm not finished it, but I'm going to just test it. Nice. I'm going to drag this rocket. Then I'm going to, this is going to be automate. Okay, cool. Suyok says, can we get this after it's done, please? <laughs> sure. Ooh, should we upload it to the Adobe Cloud? Adobe Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> or should we just uh, upload the prototype link? Yeah. I'm going to add this magic blob. I really love the magic blob. The, cool the ones thing, that you manipulated? Yeah. yeah. So this thing cool. is like, it It actually feels like moving, like amoeba, like bacteria. Wow. It's like, it really moves. This points like you, I'll show how it moves. Ooh, yeah. I I'm going to reduce the angle and... Take some, I'm going to rotate here. Look at all these blobs. I love that. Just a whole new thing for the design, yeah. overall design. Just adding like a little. Yes, instead of disturbing blobs. the screen, having. Okay, that gives like a really good emotion or like feel. Maybe they're like the chunks of like jiggly fat. Yeah. Like the plops. Because it's a BMI calculator. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fat. That's a <laughs> Just like <laughs> oh, I am going it's... around. Oh man. And you guys look at here, the fireworks the are here. So it is time for chat and win. win time. Yes, so we'll be right back. <laughs> we are back you guys, so Keep on chatting and we will see who you will be the chat and win winner for one year subscription of Angle, the Adobe XD plugin for mockups. So hello, Cindy, Karina, 
Pranjal, Eric, Daniel, Val, Tim, Suyuk, Daniel, everyone keep wow. on chatting. Who is going to win? Oh my god. Hannah, Thanks. hello. There's so many people. Power. There's. Ready. Yes, the hype, Val, is so real. Me, 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 me. Who is it going to be? <gasps> Who is it going to be, you guys? Luis, Maj, wow. Vlad, Mikhail. There's so many people wow. here. I'm excited for this person as well. Please let me. <laughs> this chat servers are like sad face. <laughs> so many, so many chats, you guys. Oh my god, who's gonna win? I'm so excited. Are you excited for this? Yeah. Yeah. It's one year of angle. Can you believe that's that? That's like crazy. That's oh, like. That's wow. really good. All these 500 plus mock ups. 500 plus mock ups you're gonna get. So, who is it gonna be? Angle, they got you covered. Oh look, we have a winner! <gasps> wow, Johnny he Gino. finally got it. <laughs> <laughs> he finally got it! <laughs> Ziryab Wasim, congratulations, you are the winner wait, wait, of the chat and win today. You are getting <laughs> one year subscription of the Adobe XD plugin, Angle, and we will contact you on Behance later today. Congratulations! Wow. Yay! Because I see his message, like when he joined. Like, he's I like, I want this. Message. And he finally got it. I'm like, I'm like, awesome. Yeah, well, cheers. Congratulations. Oh, so you're making a blob of the color now, not yeah. just white opacity. This one I'm going to show like a loading. Uh, like after you finish everything, uh -huh. make like a small, like a pulse loading. You know what I mean? Ooh. It's like a pulse, like a, your hot pulse. Yeah. So I'm going to give like a, I'm going to give this round like small and big. Oh, it's gonna go. Small yeah, it, bit, it small feels. Bit. Yeah, it feels like a pulse. So it wow. it instead of giving the result up front, sometimes if you have a suspense, you know, it's like a chat and win. If we have like a small yeah. suspense, uh -huh. it's like always be good. Nice. So I'm going to place this guy here. And final screen, it's going. Look to at that be... minimal design. Yeah. So you're almost. And if you guys are just joining us today, we are with Johnny Vino for our last stream of 2018. Sad. I know, he is designing a BMI calculator, uh, uh, talking about micro interactions, mm -hmm. and also showing his favorite plugins for Adobe XD. Yeah, and yeah. also later today, you guys, we're doing our portfolio, portfolio review. review. Yeah, I love that. I like portfolio. how we synchronized that. <laughs> um, and so submit your portfolios uh, by the chat section. It says portfolio. Just submit it, and we will pick two to review some work. So yeah, I love to have a portfolio review. That. What did you say? No, I love to have a portfolio review when I started. You know. Yeah, cause like it's just good to have. Yeah, it's like someone like really criticism, pro. like or um, feedback of your mm -hmm. work, like to become a stronger designer. Yeah. And also, you're a super strong designer, so you know your super stuff. Super strong. Yeah. A lot of people like give me feedback, so it's really helped me initial days when I started. Yeah. A lot of people, okay, you can do like this. So once you know all the feedbacks, you'll be improved. And you still like get feedback to yeah, me too, right? Yeah, it's like you have to get feedback. You have to be open and get feedback. Yeah, I feel like it's just a never ending, which is good yeah. if you're always learning. Wait, do I? We'll just test this. I'm not sure it's going to work. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to drag this launch rocket. Uh-huh. Okay, I understand what's happening. It's this different name. Nice. Sometimes if you have a different name, it won't work. The rocket to the clouds. Rocket. Like the new feature that we have. Yeah. <laughs> I can name. I'm going to put drag, easy and easy out. Let's see. I like how they incorporated the After Effects ease and ease out yeah. into it, XD. It's cool. Uh, Rashad, is there any way of purchasing the plugin? There should be a link, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, for Angle. Yeah. Yes. I think once you install Angle, mm -hmm. It shows a purchase link in the screen itself. You don't need to go to the website. Oh, it shows, yeah. You yeah, it shows in quickly. a pop-up itself. Well, there you go, Rashad. <laughs> cool. Oh, ooh. 
I need to add more magic, but we'll test this. Look at that. Oh, look at those weights. Oh, I know what you meant by that. <gasps> yeah. Whoa. The blobs. The blobs. <laughs> the fat blobs. Yeah. They just totally. Oh my god. Look at that pulse. And it Whoa. goes back. So clean. So smooth. Maybe we can add more. Okay, I'm going to play with the blobs. Oh, so Vlad is kind of um, showcasing like our everyday uses of the metric system mm -hmm. and saying that maybe we should have the weights uh, be visualized like a scale on like the height for like a ruler, incorporating a ruler, indicating these things that we measure these. Uh, On the instead of the weight? Yeah. But it that's a good thought, like how them. everyday objects that we interact with mm -hmm. um, can be you know, included in these uh, interactions. Yeah. I thought of giving like more abstract instead of, instead of giving like a more real. Yeah, and I you feel like I mean? your design is very minimal, that we want to keep it very clean yeah, and minimal. Yeah, sometimes I go with like real life physical. Sometimes right. I want yesterday. to make it, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I want to make abstract. Okay, what is the meaning we are saying? Mm -hmm. This is like adding something like a weight. This is like someone is increasing the height. Instead of giving like a full scale. Right, right. Because. For example, if I put full scale here, it'll be like too much elements. It'll like clutter your screen. Uh -huh. So to make sure, like sometimes you can go with abstract or like more physical. So that we have to decide. Yeah. So when do you think, um, how do you decide between these two on, since, when you're designing? Now I feel since we started the whole app theme as like more like Cinex, like really young people. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to give them like, oh, it's a scale or like, it's like more mathematics. It's like, oh, it's more fun. So yeah, that's the whole clean. theme I'm maintaining. Right. But if the theme is like for doctors or like for some professionals. Professionals. So we have to make sure, okay, we are giving like a really like scale or like measurement. Yeah, I can see that. So it depends on the user and like a situation you are designing. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's different, um, ways to design for different types of people. Yeah. So, that's a good. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, this guy's a magician. I know what he is doing is like, whoa. Ooh, so we're doing some more Distortion. Yeah, to pole. see the. Nice. Also, I want this to be animated, this round. Mm -hmm. And to animate here. So that. Still obsessed with like those backdrop yeah. clouds. Like, that's the, like such that's a That's a smart touch. idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make this round really big and make it opacity low. We'll see how it's going to come. Ooh. Oh, so it's going to be from blue to green, the transition. Yeah, I assume it's nice. going to be like that. I'm going to launch the rocket. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> wow, Ooh. you're even shocked. What? You're like, I, wow, beautiful. No, what did I do? I'm like so happy. <laughs> that, that's good. No, yeah, that's awesome. I just love how like you're shocked at your own, which is great. Your own work. That's awesome. Loud. Adding the Fuck. weight. Ooh. Maybe this pulse ought to be fast, right? And it's showcasing. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe quicker. Quicker, yeah. Not point it's... nine. <laughs> <laughs> point nine. Maybe point two, maybe. Point two. Oh, well, it's like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to match all the loading bar or it had to be related to health or like something related to medical. The... Yeah. Which is the pulse. Of yeah, the... it's like instead of giving like a progress bar, it may sense in different context because mm, you're matching with the theme of theme like, yeah the theme is like really important in yes. anything and if you guys are just joining us today we're with johnny vino designing a bmi calculator and doing uh, micro interactions and talking about his favorite adobe xd plugins that he is going to be showcasing later in the stream and make sure uh 
We only have 50 minutes left for the portfolio review, so submit your portfolios and we will review some projects at the end of the stream. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I'm also going to do this guy some animation, this round cloud. We'll see, it's going to work. Oh, for the clouds? Yeah, clouds. I'm going to insert a. Essentially, it can be like this. Oh, nice. It'll like lift up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, can you also do like sideways, like going in? That's a good That'd idea. That'd be cool too. Sideways, like this? Yeah, like it kind of like eases in together from like left to right. Oh, yeah. That's a cool idea. We can do that. I love someone gives ideas to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm here to I'm help. Like, oh, okay, that's a cool idea. I can make it. What is it like The Simpsons? Like how the intro starts with the yeah. clouds coming in the middle? It's like. Nice. Yes, Munir, this is the last portfolio review of 2018, you guys. 2018, yeah, come. That's insane. Oh, it's okay. 2019 will be a great year. And more cool features will be coming out. Yeah. I am pumped. I wonder how every year how many features are releasing. Oh, it's like every month. Yeah. There's like a new feature. There is something is messed up. Speaking of features, how much do you love the cloud feature? Cloud that we released this month. I love cloud features. Yeah, yeah. Also, the main thing is it. I don't feel like cloud. It's in my computer, but it's mm -hmm. saving in cloud. Yeah, like automatically. Yeah, because I don't need to go to the browser. I don't like to go to the Chrome browser and go to some website to save in cloud. Yeah. It's in my computer, but it's it's like a Dropbox. It's automatically save everything. You don't right. need to worry about. Mm -hmm. And I feel the cool thing is when I work in like collaboration project with two, three designers. Yeah. It's super easy. Like, oh, could you put all the illustration, change the color? Uh -huh. Like it's automatically update everything. And also one cool thing like I, I love about it is mm. once it's saved in the cloud and you're like, oh, what if I want like a version that I did like two hours ago? Yeah. Instead of adding all these stuff. That's you, like. It, sa it saves your history mm -hmm. where you can just like do undo, undo yeah. until like you go back to the spot you were like two hours ago yeah. for the work. That's really cool. Okay, we'll finish Ooh, this cool. once the rocket. Okay. Nice. The blobs of fat, the person's getting bigger. <laughs> oh, the oh. cloud is super fast. <laughs> That's what I love about prototyping, because you can see like the things that you need to change. And yeah, I think, oh, it's nine. It's two. That's why it's super too fast. Too quick? Oh, because you got the, from yeah. the default from the pulse. Wow, that's cool. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. Maybe this one, too. Oh, for the, yeah. This white color? Mm hmm Maybe. Oh, Suyog asks, uh, well, who's your favorite designer? Who's my favorite moment. designer? Yeah. Like ex, uh, UX designer or just designer in general? What is, who is your favorite designer? Oh, I, even, oh, people are like, please answer this. Zeryov is asking I, the same question. I think, I think I like everyone, like instead of like, I've seen all their portfolios. I like everyone design. It's not like who are designing, they're putting their effort to do some design. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, everyone has some like skills. So, and their like own specialty. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. everyone have. Whenever I see oh, everyone's profile, oh, that's awesome! Like, uh -huh. it's, it's so not, like, what specifically would you say is like your design style that you like, that you love about that one person? Like, is it style. modern, clean, or? No, everyone. The unique thing of everyone. Like, I can see. Okay. Yeah. If he is designing something, that will be some unique characteristics. So for, I like for micro interactions or like like or, UI or illustration. Oh, okay. So you're looking for something that you've never seen. Yeah, before. I never seen before. It's like, uh -huh. it's like represent them. Oh, their brand. Yeah, their brand. I, like I, that. I really like the branding. How how they're maintaining the consistency. Yeah. Instead of doing several things. Do you have any specific examples that you can tell them? Yeah, specific example. 
I don't know. Mm. I may say it's a if it's a favorite designer, I would say Dimitri. You know Dimitri, right? From German, he designed. Right? Yeah. Oh, so nice. he designed like products. Wow. So his style is like always consistent. Like it's like super clean, minimal. Oh, I love minimal yeah. clean. Yes. So I I love Dimitri all the designers who are maintaining like a really good, like consistent style. Wow. Do you think you have a consistent style as well? Yeah, I have like really consistent style. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And right now you're just uh, messing around with the clouds. Yeah, I'm just like, it's like a, it's like a cooking. Like once you finish the main dish, but you spend so much time in like, like decorating. <laughs> oh, the plating. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh, it looks. Just to make it look good. You have the base done. You yeah. just need to make everything else around it pretty. Yeah, that's what I do. Like initially, just do like really basic. Wow. Um. Don't be talking about food again. Because remember food yesterday. Everyone is so oh. hungry. Okay, this is almost awesome. Oh, so cool! Look at all those colors. Look at all those shapes. Oh. I'm so excited. See all the micro interactions. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Once we're done. Next. Nice. Switching. Uh, the movement behind it. Yeah. I love it. Oh my god. Oh, the pulse quicker. Ooh, all those circles just like. This is like canyon. it's like a snow. They love snow in New York. It's always snow. Chicago is cool, right? Yes. Um, Chicago is really cold, but it could also be super humid. Mm. Mm -hmm. New York too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, this is what finally we have. Wow. We can... So a lot of people like Kogolan and uh, Zeryab is saying their work is very minimal. Uh, do you like minimal work? Yeah, I like really minimal, like people can understand easily. Minimal and clean, yeah. Yeah, also I like abstract, like really instead of showing directly. Mm -hmm. The pulse anger point is, it's top right in between. Oh, it's really, it's not centered. People oh yeah, so, I noticed. <laughs> so pixel perfect. That's cool. We have the, yeah. I love that. If someone says me like. Very detailed, right? Yeah. That's a good, good characteristic for any designers. Like we can find, oh, this is wrong. Like they have to find, have that skill. Yeah, I agree. Um, and okay, cool. Yeah, cool. So we have, oh, what is this thing? No, on the, oh, like we're here. Oh, this guy. There you go. <laughs> you have become so I know, now it became like the person too. I'm like, oh wait, that little thing. That little thing, that bothers me. <laughs> okay, fine. We're almost done. Okay, this group. Nahed says, like, the best thing about your work is how you keep it super simple. Cool. And, yeah. So, I agree, even now. This is very minimal, clean, simple. Mm. Cool. Okay, let's, let's, we can go to... Prototyping? Prototyping. We are on time, I feel. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, no, yeah. not prototyping. Plugins. Oh, oh plugins. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, do you want to show like the final product after adjusting those yeah. little clean things? I double check only this one. This guy is not behaving properly to me. Okay, I'm not going. Oh. Okay. Not going to do anything to this guy. Nice. Look at all those circles. Sometimes, you know, the small things, it will take all your time. Right? Yeah. So, you already finished the UI. What are you doing still now? I'm like making it perfect. <laughs> Make it, yeah. Just like planning the dish yeah. perfectly. And you guys, we have 40 minutes uh, left to submit your portfolio, uh, your Behance portfolios for us to look over. We will be choosing two profiles and looking over your work and giving you feedback. 
Okay, we can. What are things you think we can um, improve? Is I'm there anything need to be improved? Uh, I well, I feel like everything is like set. Okay. And cool. the micro interactions are set. Uh, maybe we can just test it out and see how. Okay, we can do works. a final text. Yeah. With the video. I'm going to record a video. It's really cool. Ooh. This video feature. Oh, I yeah. I love that. Recording it? Yeah. I like that too. Cool. I'm going to do launch a rocket. Oh, wait. Maybe move it <laughs> to the left. Left? Because I think your face is blocking. Wow. So, yeah. Like a little cool, bit. Cool, okay. Oh, did it freeze? Yeah, I think when 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 you are in oh, are you mode, recording it? Yeah. Oh cool. wait, <laughs> now you can move it back because we changed okay, cool. our placement. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. So we just move right? to the other side of the room, you guys. I'm going to start. Yeah, let's see it. Oh. Ooh, the rocket going to space. The weights being added, the fat blobs being jiggly. Nice. <gasps> so cool. The pulse. Ooh, the clouds. <laughs> the clouds. I like the last one, like how yeah. all the clouds come together. That's wow. really cool. Is 22.3 a good BMI? I forgot. Yeah, it's like if you're under 25, it's good. If oh, you're I'm under like, 20, ooh. it will be like okay. you're under white. But yeah. you'll be like... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's go to uh, your favorite plugins. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. We can save. It's in cloud, I think, right? No, yeah. it's it's in my desktop. And you saved that video of the prototype? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's here. Ooh, cool. Yeah, once you made this, like, we can put in dribble or, like, big hands. Like, it's really cool. Yeah. Because I think people were asking to uh, have you... Share that on your Behance. Behance? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But we'll do that after the show. Cool. Nice. So the first, <clears throat> the first plugin, the guide guide I actually showed mm -hmm. yesterday. Yes, guide guide. Uh, maybe we can create another custom size. Ooh. Cool. To just to show plugins. Um, the naming is super important. And yes, Val, um, if you're submitting your portfolio, uh, more towards UI UX design portfolios, mm -hmm. and we'll be selecting two portfolios to review in about 36 minutes. So submit your portfolios and we will give you feedback. Cool. Um, yes, Miji, he just used those uh, Adobe XD yeah, it's, to animate it's all the in screens. XD. That's all what I'm XD. like, super fast, like how fast. How fast? It's How like, quickly it is, yeah. It's like, I took like 30 minutes to create something. It's <laughs> like, Or even less. Like, yeah, it's like... So fast. I don't need to deal with any complex timeline. That's what I like. Okay, first, we, first oh, plugin. Yeah. So the first plugin we're going to do is... Uh, guide guide? Guide guide, I already showed. Maybe I can create an artboard. And how you can manipulate... Yeah. The grid and the guides. Yeah, the guide guide, I sh choose like iPhone XX. So guide guide, usually what I will do is like, mm -hmm. I'll give like a margin of 16, like both sides 16 so that you don't reach like a bleed. Uh -huh. And bottom, since we have like a notch, like a small, like a home bar. So okay. I usually give like, uh, maybe around 18 and if you click add guides it's add everything to you wow also the cool that's so thing, quick yeah also the cool thing you can just like I usually reduce the opacity yeah I do that too because yeah. um, you don't want it to be like interfering yeah that's really cool like instead of uh, having a guide all the time we mm -hmm. can't change the color. It's like really cool. Also, I like how, um, like in the middle, it's mm -mm. kind of like free, mm -mm -mm. but like it shows you the restrictions for the left, 
right, top, bottom. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. everything can just be inside of that border. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, so that's okay. like a different way to, yeah, design. Very cool. Second plugin, I would say, is Mimic. Mimic is really cool. Because uh, one, yeah. if someone is starting as like really beginner designer, they don't know how to choose colors. Mm -hmm. We can use like Mimic tool. Ooh, I want to see something. Uh, like Mimic. So Mimic is kind of like a really cool tool I really like. Uh, plugin, if we go to Mimic, and if you enter the URL, mm -hmm. I just have a URL of Headspace. Okay. So if you enter the URL, it will take like a really basic, like a style guide quickly. Wow, that's so fast. So one, if you're starting like really, you can't just take their colors. It's it's not cool, but uh -huh. we can refer to how they're maintaining the palette or like how they're f framing all the styles. It's really cool. What a like, quick way to yeah. like speed up your workflow. Yeah, it's like, oh, or if you're working in a company, if someone is designing other website, yeah, we can quickly pick all the colors, like really cool. Uh, Maybe third one pattern maker. It will be, it will be good for our cloud. You know, mm -hmm. I'll show how it works. Uh, so, um, the Vlad asked, "What is like the biggest advantage of Adobe XD over like other competitors?" Because I think we were talking about this yesterday. How yeah. everything is in like one program, and um, you yeah. don't have to get multiple programs to like prototype or something yeah. like that. Like, yeah, that's a good point. Like, yeah. Like the, the all in one app. Yeah, all in one app. Like it's hand to hand. You don't need to go to because always if you go to import other softwares, it will be like rendering problem. It takes time. Right. Also, the cool thing they mention is like if I'm changing something, for example, oh, I don't want like 22. If I'm changing to 21, it's like a small change. Mm -hmm. If we're using two softwares, it's like a big change. You can't. You have to change everything. Every from, change. Yeah. You know, if yeah. I want to change this rocket to be different color. You have to change everything, import everything. Yeah. It will kill your time. So this is, I feel like Adobe XD is like very time. Yeah, like the saving. time. Yeah, the yeah. time is like really important for me because I prefer to do like really quickly something. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, how fast you can create. I don't want to go to so many softwares and like, that's the advantage maybe. Yeah, cool. Also the community, you know. It's like oh, really it's amazing! Adobe community so is amazing. supporting. Yeah. Uh, what is the second one? I'm talking so about the mimic pattern maker. It's like really cool. I'll show you. Ooh, okay. Let's see pattern maker. Mm, maybe I'll create some. So what is pattern maker? It makes a pattern. Yeah, it's make a quick pattern for you. Maybe I will create this colors. Maybe some. Ooh. That looks like a shuriken, uh, shuriken. Yeah. Like the ninja thing. Maybe make the background dark so that you can see. I love blue color, so. So once you click on the pattern maker. Mm -hmm. Three column, maybe four column, six rows. Oh, oh it has to be odd number. Has to be the awesome. <laughs> See? Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. You can make any like cool, like funky patterns. Yeah, like, it's like if you. And you can manipulate it while it, the pattern is completed? Yeah. Whoa. You can also like edit it. That's really cool. Saves so much time. Instead of like we have the repeat grid. Yeah. We have like copy and paste, but this just like quickly does it super yeah. fast. Yeah. I really like that. Speeds up my workflow so quickly. Uh, what are the other cool things? Convert case, I already show like changing the thing. Also, oh, app okay. icon. We can make an app icon for our app. Oh, let's think? do it. Yes. Hmm? We'll name it Clout. Clout? C L O U T. Yeah. Clout. What does that mean? Clout means. I think it's like when you're like bragging about like expensive things. Mm -mm. Like you have a Cartier. Uh, bracelet mm -mm. or like Gucci flip-flops or whatever mm -mm. and you're like showcasing that like oh, to, to your, all your friends it's mm -hmm. like you have a lot of clout I don't know is that am I right you guys I don't know oh my god am I getting old for 
these terms now? I don't know. I told, I like taught everyone the word shook, but like, I don't know. Good, we can I'm learn. getting old for this. Oh, so you're making a, um, an app, app icon. icon. Nice. So I created like a artboard of 100 and 100. So you just need to oh. create like one size, like 100, 100 cross, 100. Uh, yeah. Square. So the cool thing is app icon knows like yeah. how it's going to be in iOS, Android, like every oh, platform. It already does it yeah. for you. Oh, it's like 100 of assets in one click. Uh -huh. Cloud, right? Is this correct? Yeah, <laughs> cloud. Uh huh. Maybe add some magic. I like that. Oh. No magic. Mm. BMI cloud? Or like, brag about your BMI. No, like, I think it's too much, it'll be. You know what I mean? Cloud am I? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Because if we call it cloud, hmm. that doesn't make. Is that more like fitnessy, do you think? BMI cloud. BMI cloud? <laughs> I think that's cool, right? BMI yeah. cloud. Maybe I have that. BMI. Maybe two line. Yeah, BMI. Yeah. I think that's good. That's cool. <laughs> I always struggle about. Should I left align or center align? Right. <laughs> so the the thing I learned like after like so whenever we get confused, we need mm -hmm. to maintain left align or center align. Just make it left align. It will be look good. To like the top left corner. Yeah, it's yeah. like if you make it left align, it's going to be look good. Yeah. So center um, line is confusing. Suyog asks, uh, do you prefer the prefer the mouse, a touchpad, or Wacom, or a compatible tablet? Me. I, I love mouse. Like, I can't like work without mouse. mouse. You could use your touchpad? No, I can't use touchpad. Oh, really? If you if you take my mouse now, I can't work. You can't work? No, I can't oh, work. Really? Wow. I think, like, for me, mm -hmm. um, when I was in college, mm -hmm. I was, like, a pro college, so I didn't get a mouse. Oh. So I would use my touchpad and, like, using Photoshop, like, the quick selection tool, mm -hmm. uh, the, like, the lasso tool, I would, yeah, yeah. like, Use one finger wow, to, good. like, guide the lasso, and then use the other finger to like move the mouse. Mm. It was very That's hard, hard. but uh, no, I prefer good. having a mouse now. And I got a nice a app icon. So Ooh, the okay. Whole theme is like we are maintaining whole theme. That's important when you are designing app. Mm -hmm. So you have to get into that feel. Okay, yeah. we are designing for like really young people. Using the clouds from yeah, the home clouds, screen. Yeah. And then Having a font, cloud, so everything things. feel like really harmonious. And, yes. Wow. Um, so now I'm going to do like an app icon generator. Uh huh. You can choose desktop app icons. Nice. It's so quick how it just gives you the dimensions for the artboard. Yeah. Um, for like an iOS or Android uh, app icon, which yeah. is super quick. It's like see how many icons they're making for you. Right. It's like so much time saver. It's like wow. <laughs> it's like hundreds. Oh, of so icons. it does it. It converts <gasps> all into all different sizes, like this many sizes. So what? The, you could have more than one size for an iOS app icon. No, app icon. They mean like in App Store, like in. There are Your different phone? ways. Yeah, in iPhone five, there will be different size of app icon. Oh, it's just the different phones. Yeah, different oh phones my God. and like different places they show the app icon. Wow, that's so quick. So you don't have to make multiple of them or like. Yeah, it's it's the most annoying work for, for me. So if I click export. You know how long that would take if you have to do every yeah, photo, every, every dimension. Also, you oh. have to like manually like group everything, compress everything. That's super hard. Wow. See how. Oh, they're so tiny. Nice. <laughs> they make like all like, and that's what I love on this. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, it definitely speeds up your work process. Yeah. Cool. And okay. if you guys are just joining us, we are uh, with Johnny Vino, and he is designing, um, he just designed actually a BMI calculator. Yeah, I'm sure that's doing calculator. animations and also 
showcasing his favorite plugins. Uh, so we have less than 25 minutes for mm -hmm. you guys to submit your portfolios. Hey, Muhammad. And we will be choosing two portfolios to review and give you feedback for your projects. Hello, Muhammad, Munir, Suyog. Suyog says mouse is his wand, wand his magic yeah. wand. Yes. Magic wand, that's true. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to UI faces, it's like most used plugin, I think. The UI faces. What's it called? UI faces? Yeah, I love that. So, I'm what sure. does that plugin do? Please, ring red. Yes, yeah, so that plugin, green. like, it put faces, but the cool thing is you can decide the emotions of the faces. I'll show you how you can do the it. Emotion? Yeah. You can pick, like, how how which age your user is going to be okay it's like which huh. gender you want how the happiness to be like it's neutral really yeah it's like different colored people like it's really nice okay let me see i think since it's in a group it comes like interesting yeah you have to select all the group UI faces. That's my oh. favorite plugin. Whoa! <laughs> See, what? The cool thing is, like, it, it. I said, like, sad faces, so it put sad faces. That's so fast! If I put, like, really smiling faces, it'll be like. Oh. Do you know where, like, is it, are these just, like, stock images or, like. Yeah, it's from stock images. You can select the source you want. Oh, it shows you the sources. Of yeah, everything. if you want Unsplash, okay. I'm gonna put on splash. You know how long it takes for me to find like, yeah. just like the stock pictures. images of people. Like that's oh, it just does it for you. Yeah, that's cool. Whoa, that is gonna like save so much time for me. Also, the clarity they are maintaining it's really cool. Wow. Okay, convert to shape. We already seen that. Yes, we saw the convert to shape. Maybe plugin. I will show the Google Sheet. It's like ooh. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, because that I feel like really important. Anais is joining us from Peru. Peru. Hello, Peru. Anthony. Welcome back. Super great to have you back on our stream. Super late visit. Good to see you all. Yes, Mohammed. Great plug in the UI faces. I'm going to use You're that. Going to. That's like really yeah. awesome. Okay, I'm going to... So this is while I'm creating something like a table. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just mock up like a small wireframe. Is this the Google? Yeah, the Google Sheet one. Google Sheet, okay. The Google Sheet one, I really, why I really like it? Because when you're working in like really, like uh, for companies, yeah. they want to be have like real content and real people. Uh-huh. You know, how much, what is the length of the person name? What is the description? What for is the their profiles. phone number? Yeah, yeah, it's not just like a, dummy content they want to have like a real Legit. name yeah yeah huh Maybe. oh a gs is the ui faces is that free or paid it's a free that's it's what? a free plugin you guys that's cool the form showcasing the name, the name, the description of the person, and when yeah. you connected with the person. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to change to yes, yes, of. Wow. Everyone is loving the UI faces plugin. Oh, really? Yeah, because that it like it, it's true. It's, like it takes a long time. Yeah. Also, the clarity is like super. Clear. Yeah, these are like good pictures. You know. I don't know how they are wow. bringing this clarity. But that bothers me. Sometimes I use some like plugins to put images. I want the clarity to be like super great. Wow. Yeah. And that's what you get with yeah. the UI faces. Maybe I put repeat credit. We'll see. Nice. Oh, so fast. I love the repeat grid. Uh, so now I am going to select Google Sheet. Uh-huh. 
So in Google Sheet, I already made like a sheet with content. So wait, yeah. you can upload your Google yeah. sheet Go in that? Yeah, I put all our names. See, Johnny, we know Kevin Lee. We can put someone from our. Ajit, he's, he's here for all the time, so I'm going to put his name. Ajit. Ajit. We're using some of the audience members' names. Yeah. Nice. So, so this is a Google Sheet. Like, if someone is giving you a Google Sheet, you can just, like, use that. Okay. Oh, and, it and if I that. click continue, it will ask for you, okay, what do you mean by description? And that what goes by the tab. Yeah. So it no goes way. by the tab. What? I put like, okay, title, post, username. Oh. It picks everything. Wow. Oh my and if I select God. date, it automatically date posted. Whoa. If you What's put that? Randomized Randomize. Content. Instead of having oh. like a linear content, if you can use randomized content. Hmm. And see it's going to work or not. I'm so shook if this works. What? Yeah, I think it's in repeat grade. Oh, you need it out. Yeah, yeah. it's need to be out. That's not a big deal. Uh, Vlad asks for the UI faces. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the sources of those images? You can actually choose in the plugin uh, it, the source of the image. Right? Uh, which one? Yeah. For UI faces, yeah. Yeah, this Just one? Yeah, so. Okay, we can. I know we're bouncing around, but. Yeah, um, we are. Yeah, on the top it shows you. It shows source. you which diverse UI tiny faces. I, yeah. I really, I don't usually choose platforms. Mm -hmm. If I just apply it, usually pick a good image. Oh, so if you click one, yeah, it just changes it. But, yeah. Wow. Cool. If I click multiple, also it changes it. But yeah. <laughs> See, everyone's loving the UI faces. Yeah. Like I'm. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we are going back to this one, Google Sheet. The Google Sheets plugin. Yeah. We can try repeat grid. We'll see. It's Okay, it's not a <laughs> Nothing to say, <laughs> just look at them views. Yes, we get views, Johnny Vino. Okay, plug in. I asked GDPR because thing. <laughs> without permission. I think these faces are like really approved. They share their faces public. Wait, is that my... When people are asking... I'm like, that is not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, Google Sheet is public. I think it's a group. That's a good point, Vlad. Yeah. Yes. Knowing the source of every yeah. photo is good. Also, I think these photos are like really, they share these photos publicly. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to worry about this. It's the like, copyright. Yeah, the like, copyrights. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yep. Also, if I change the name from Kevin to some name here, it will automatically update the content here. No, it doesn't. That's like do it right now. Yeah, I don't believe you. Really? Yeah. If if you don't, Angela, maybe. I'm gonna try it. We'll see. And then you just update it. Oh, Martin. It, oh, what? it it gives some other content. Oh, that's cool though. Yeah. So you can change the slide and yeah. change that. Nice. Since it's in random mode, it picked random people. Yeah, we did the random. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is how you can quickly make like list or like whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, cool. What's the next this one? This one is the most coolest one. What's it called? Odin chart. Wait, Ooh. I'm going to make it really big. Odin, Odin chart. chart. Okay. I love that. Oh. What does it do? I'm, I'm going to create like a mobile and show oh. Odin chart. All these plugins. Or in chart, you can create like multiple chart you want. Really? Yeah. And you can select the colors. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this color is really bad. That's fine. And if you guys are just joining us, we're with Johnny Vino, and he is uh, showing us his favorite plugins in Adobe XD and talking about micro interactions, animations. And we are just hitting the 15 minute mark to submit your portfolios. Uh, we are going to choose two portfolios to review and give you amazing feedback on your projects, on your Behance profiles. So get those portfolio submissions in before time is up. 
Yeah, I think someone asked for the process of me. As I said, like two days before, like the process. Oh is, yeah, Muhammad has your design process. Yeah, I think the process is like like doing some research for like one two weeks to talking to some real people so that we mm-hmm. know how they feel, what are the problem they have, mm-hmm. and then I usually go for like plugging, like a really good prototype. You know. Mm-hmm. What like do you mean a, by really good prototype? Really good prototype means high fidelity, right? Like quick prototype. People can use it in mobile. Uh huh. So I make like, if I'm going for testing, I go with like ten different prototypes because I can make quickly prototype in XT in half an hour. Mm hmm. So we can make like ten different prototype, test with the users to give Then, them more options. Yeah, to it's like, like see. oh, use this, use this thing. How they feel? So you get the feeling instead oh, of like a looking. Uh huh. most of the softwares is like just looking okay this is looks good or not yeah so you can compare all the different options you yeah. did and the user testing yeah. to see which one's the best yeah and then yeah. you can like iterate on it make get like really good or pixel perfect you can change the color but mm-hmm. testing is like really important in your process A-to-B testing. the prototyping yeah. and testing uh so you would do two weeks of research and yeah. then start Doing start the doing fidelity the, wireframing yeah. and then from there to the user testing yeah i don't yeah. do like a low fidelity prototype anymore because i feel oh, you go straight to the high straight fidelity, to the high fidelity oh, so that like you get the real feel in wireframes you don't get the real feel if you're testing the real users mm okay the wireframes may shoot for like designers but if you're testing a real user give them a real color real button sizes oh wow it's important and that's like how i said before There's no right way to do the yeah, UX like people, design process. People have different ways. Like that's my process. Yeah. It For may me, not... I like to do like low fidelity. Yeah. Some get, people yeah. start with low fidelity. There is nothing wrong. Like, oh yeah. 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 Uh, so I'm going to just. So this is the graph I created using the. Um. This plugin. Wait. Go not to transition. So this is just a graph. I just I not made this graph. I just like clicked one button and it creates a graph for you. Just a random. Yeah, it's like Ooh. if I go to this one, not in chart and scatter. So it's create a graph for wow. you. Wow. So it's one second. With random data. Yeah. Nice. So you can just show some prototype using that to anyone. instead of oh yeah, it's like moving the data is moving we can have like a different tabs What? like weekly monthly <gasps> that's cool yeah instead of making individual circle or line yeah. like yeah. it will take hours to make our own chart i need to use more plugins in yeah, my it's like, workflow yeah like i love plugin that's why save so much time because if i need some graph sometimes i don't want this like data i just want the graph i just use the graph oh to like show the yeah. animation oh yeah it's like that? that'd be cool yeah it's like i use yesterday a lot of people show us graphs right yeah i remember like we can move around the points like this cuz you know what i would do i would just use the pen tool mm. and then try to make that yeah but then this just does it for you yeah it's, it's like so quick Yeah, it's so quick, and if you're making like quick prototype, we can just use it. Wow. Okay, done. Look at that. Yeah. It feels like <laughs> moving. You know, you did something. Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm like nerding out yeah. hardcore with all these plugins. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Also, th- uh, okay. These are the plugins I have. These are like really important plugins. Cool. Maybe some other plugins I have. Oh, so yeah, you have more. Yeah, maybe ones. I will quickly run through those plugin. How much yeah. time we have left? Uh, so we have 10 minutes left for people to submit their portfolios Mm-mm. and then we will be uh, you know, giving them feedback on their uh, projects Mm-mm. on two uh pro- portfolio uh submissions. So, yes. Yeah, someone asked. Oh, what? yeah, so it just says, can you ask qu- Johnny the question what Vlad asked. Okay, so Vlad asks, Johnny, how do you You use your tester designs, looking for qualitative and quantitative research in your iterations. Um, yeah, how do you test your designs? Like yeah. your user testings. Yeah, the most of my user testing is like, 
as i said i go with like high fidelity like in mobile mm-hmm. so i don't use a test you saying a laptop yeah so i don't give them a laptop or screens so i will give them okay i just give them a like a mobile phone, an actual phone yeah actual oh. phone i usually videograph the user testing section yeah and i don't say anything to them they just have to use the prototype i just like listen okay what they are doing what where they can't able to kick mm-hmm. what, what is the emotion is going on their face yeah do you so, give them a task yeah i give them like a specific task okay yes, yeah now you are going to create a like a new uh like a new user profile mm-hmm. so they will go through like different clicking nice and i'll say okay bad they are clicking where they can't find how much time they are taking yeah so if you measure those like it will be really helpful um what are certain things that you're looking for that is considered like a strong design compared to like oh maybe this is kind of weak and like i have to make some changes and stuff like that so you mentioned time from from a to b yeah and then what other s- stuff do you look for uh sometimes i look for sometimes it's not just time mm-hmm. because some sometimes if you're going with like new innovative design people will take time yeah but the most important thing the emotion you know how they rea- react yeah how they are reacting and you can see their face oh they, you can see their eyes and the they're face stressed out. Yeah, they're like... stressed out they don't say they are stressed out uh-huh. but you can see it okay they are stressed out so wow. that's most important emotion looking at their faces yeah. oh that's a cool don't you know. just see the words they are saying they usually i see like people try to be nice to you <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to say anything bad oh, about they, yeah. they don't say oh your design sucks they they want to say it's like good but right. you have to just listen and see their faces oh nice do you ever do um like prototyping with like just like paper and like have them click something and then you give them another paper to the next screen yeah i did that like uh if it's in like a yearly st- like really like early stage if you're testing like a new concept yeah i did paper prototyping yeah uh but i feel that digital is like more you can get more insights right because it's like they're actually using it using it that. because sometimes yeah. paper feels like more easy to use you know yeah because it's not cheaper <laughs> yeah it's like oh people will be like, oh i click this click that so you can't get like real insight mm-hmm. and the feeling yeah i agree with that cool so i'm going to show this one personas oh really quick suyok asks how do you convert xd prototype recordings to a, a i say gif for a dribble without losing quality yeah i think the the video we made this one we can put it in like photoshop and then do a timeline yeah it's like if you add it in photoshop and i wonder if there's also a way you can just do it on um imovie or something like convert to get gif yeah but i, I feel the photoshop is like really like awesome in this converting right. into gif yeah cool uh yeah and we are just about 6 minutes left you guys uh to submit your portfolio submissions for us to review them and give you feedback. Mm-mm. So make sure to submit your portfolios before time runs out. We're picking two profiles. Oh, only two profile? Wow, yeah. that's that's hard. Okay, I'm going to show this. Oh yeah, what are other plugins you're giving us? Are you reviewing the portfolio? Or I have like two plugins to show. Um, yeah, we can do your plugins really quick and cool. just to see. Uh, BMI calculator. Also, we can finally show how it looks in mobile if we have time. Oh yeah, we could do yeah, that yeah. too. Uh, the this is not a cool plugin, but it's really important plugin, Stark. Uh, this check your accessibility. Uh-huh. Uh I feel this is important like when I am doing like design. Okay. So I always test with this prototype. It will show you how different uh color blindness people will see your app. Oh, I love that. Know what I mean? That's, yeah. See some people it's will be feature. seeing your app in this and a purpley color yeah. even though it's So you have to ma- make sure your contrast is really good. So I always want Very inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. So inclusiveness design. is like really important. Yeah. and you can like walk through different screens and it will show how it's going to look 
That's so interesting. See? Such a different color. Yeah. And so whenever we finish the design, we have to make sure we are testing this inclu inclusiveness in the design. Do you ever adjust the color for people with color blindness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To cater towards it? Yeah. yeah, I will show you how. This is just stimulating the blindness. Uh -huh. Like the cool thing is like it also show you the contrast. Like if you go to stark, mm -hmm. I can check the contrast. Maybe my contrast may be bad. See, my contrast is bad. Oh, so it lets you know. Yeah. That's really good. Because people don't know, okay, we are we making a mistake or not. The stark will show you, okay, the contrast is bad. People can't see it. Nice. We can change it to some other like, we can give shadows or like overlay or make it the thicker font. Wow. That's really cool plugin. I like that. Anything inclusive yeah. in design. Yeah, that's more important. People don't, we don't focus on that, but that's really important to me. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's, is there another like inclusive plugin? Yeah, I don't know. I, I really like Stark. They do like really good job. Yeah. Uh, Let's check contrast. The check contrast. So Stark itself have the two modes. One is color blindness and one is check contrast. And it'll oh, show like, oh uh, yeah, yeah it's good. good. What font size you can, it recommend you font size right. you can you increase mean. the font. That's cool. Yeah, so when you're starting a designer, it's good to have those things. Nice. Daniel one. is joining our Oh, that's cool. Stream. Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel is so Dansky. good, man. He was on Dansky. at 9 a.m. with Andrea Hawk. Hello, oh, Dan. I loved. Dan has so many fans, man. He's a... Yes. And you too. <laughs> but Dan's they made an advent awesome. calendar. And I was like, oh, I want to get that. Mm. It's so cool. Cool. So maybe another... Yeah, let's go over. We have two more minutes. You have one more quick minutes. more plugin you want to show us before we... Two more minutes? Okay. I can yeah. show the quick plugin. Cool. Maybe a persona plugin that so many people ask, like how you do the personas. Mm -hmm. So this plugin will show you like how many person. It automatically create a personas list for you. Ooh. See? Oh wow! I love that. So they, I, how did they get all that information? So they create like a dummy like uh, personas. So when you're starting research, it's good to have Ooh. like all the personas. It's like little cards for each person. Yeah, so you can edit edit your function, location, you can customize it. But this card is like automatically created. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so have you noticed an increase difference on your uh, like workflow uh, using all these different plugins? Yeah, I feel that really helpful. Like it helps in different phases. Yeah. Like before starting my project, I use personas. So you can select what language you want. You want German, like you can, we can do whatever you want. So right. this is like before starting your project. Like the Stark, <laughs> this, this this is like a Look one click. Look at these click. illustrations. Yeah, yeah, it's like a one click thing and it's just Yeah, down. if you're going to talk with any client, like you can just go and do it. Wow. And then where do these, where do people download these plugins? Yeah, like, that's a good question. Any... Yeah, plugins, if you go to the plugins, mm -hmm. you can click on manage plugins. They have like hundreds, I don't know how much plugins they have. Wow, and it it's showcases like, like Yeah, it's like thousands of plugins yeah. and you can just click through. It'll show you different, wow. different details. It's like unlimited plugins. I like how <laughs> Adobe XC has that feature where you can just go to the menu bar and look yeah. through all the plugins, like kind of like an app store. Like Yeah, you don't need to go anything. to Google and search for it. And it's just like really quick. Wow. Is there, um, can you go back to the plugin? Manage plugins. Manage plugins, yeah. Yeah, these are all the plugins I have. So this one I really use, decimal points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are so many plugins you can install. Also, yes. I use Dribble plugin. To just cool. post and double lot like quickly. I love that. Cool. Are you going to the portfolio review? Yeah, we can go to space, you guys. Space? <laughs> wow, that mask is hard. <laughs> oh well, I got like literally, I was stuck. Hmm. In the helmet, so yeah. Can I just hold it? 
I'll just hold it right next to my face, yeah. Oh, Word one. space, you guys. <laughs> oh wait, oh, yeah. I am done. You're d <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys, I can't that? put this on. It gets stuck in my I, my first episode. I was stuck in this, so we're dancing in space. Oh, we have our two portfolios, you guys. Are you ready to review them yeah, in yeah. space? <laughs> Where are we? Do you see the background? Space. Oh, it's a Whoa. space portfolio review. <laughs> Can you breathe? I'm going to die. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Well, we are back. We have our two portfolios, and yeah. I am super excited to review them. Um, our first one is from Jamal Hamad, and I'm just looking through his uh, design. is very pretty and very... Um, very uh, UI UX designer from DRK. Mm -hmm. Is that I don't know if that's a studio, DRK. design studio, but it's a Dark cool studio. design studio. Uh, he is from Los Angeles, California, mm -hmm. and yeah, just looking through all of his pages, he looks like he knows his stuff. But we are going to be giving him some feedback yeah. today. Yeah. So looking through all these projects, like which one is kind of like standing out to you? There's like bird discovery page. House market app. I like the project dark, DRK. It's in the bottom second. Project dark. Yeah, it's like really Oh, which cool. one? There's two of them. Uh, the second one. This uh, one? No, no, no. Oh, this so, one? Yeah. Ooh, project dark 003 car dealership. Hmm. Oh, nice. Oh. Wow, the quality is really good. Wow, I like how he did like the split screen and everything. Yeah. and. The contrast um, is like really coming well. The blue and black. Yeah, and it matches with like the logo, kind mm. of having the blue on the left side and the black on the mm -hmm. right side, but then switching it for the header of it. Yeah. So let's see, we offer an affordable solution to buying a car. So this is a, I'm guessing a, a web page website for a car dealership website. Yeah, yeah. Very modern, very clean. Um, affordability is a small fee to pay to give everyone a useful and powerful service. Yeah. The, and the choosing your car. Wow. The title, they have the East Vibes. That's like really like down. Uh -huh. I really like someone if cut cut their typography, like really bold font with like, it's like it's cut down and masked inside a rectangle. Yeah, I love how like they're using the sans serif yeah. clean typeface. Um, I like this little blob that they have wow, for the car. That's really cool. And it matches the color of the gray mm. for this background. Wow, that's great job, Jamal. This is awesome. Really nice. I'm gonna appreciate this. I love this. How do you feel about like the split screen? And I'm guessing there's like a video that video, plays. Video, I think, yeah. Um, and then whips. Oh, I like how you use whips instead of yeah, cars. Yeah, that's, yeah. And then it says east, I'm guessing. Fast whips. Or fast? <laughs> oh. Fast, oh. I don't know why east. I said east. <laughs> I'm like, um, so maybe that's like another thing, maybe uh, lifting yeah, up the little bit. Type. Yeah, that's like a really small thing. Yeah, and then... Uh, but the fonts are really nice. I don't know which font he's using. It's really good. Yes, Daniel says slick. Very slick, clean. Dansky. <laughs> yes, nice. Very cool. Uh, he is using purple so nice, mm. when he says. Yeah, I like that color too. Yeah. Like that purple blue. It's very... It's uh, so bright bold. and fresh. And then it shows like choosing your car, showcasing the model, the type of the car, speed. Yeah, overall, very great job, very Jamal. Nice. nice. And it has that dark UI design. Dark that UI. UI. Yeah. Love dark UI. Very cool. Maybe we can pick the recent project, Bird Discovery Page. Bird Discovery Page. Ooh. Oh. Nice <gasps> presentation. Oh, I love the logo and everything. Hmm. Wait, Bird is a... It's a, the scooters, right? The Bird scooters that you see around the city? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There are so many scooters There's now. so many scooters, Lime yeah. Lime scooters. I don't know. So many scooters. Oh my God. How do you feel about them? <laughs> I don't know. I hate scooters. I'm like, oh, scooter, scooter, scooter. Scooter <laughs> everywhere, yeah. Oh. So you know, says Poppy loves it. Poppy loves it. See? Wait, I'm... Okay. Uh, you are the, you oh, are yeah, the Poppy. I'm the Poppy. 
Yeah, the floppy. They do. Oh, this doesn't help that I'm wearing this like fur jacket too. Like, whoa. Okay, well, I like how they have um, the three like images the, of the yeah, phones. Yeah, it's like clearly what they're doing with the split screen of the colors in the mm -hmm. background. Um, also, the nice touch on the nice. card, like it's a small. Instead of having a curve, it's like I really like that. It's something unique. Oh, like this little like yeah, it's shape. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's something you don't really see a yeah, lot. Yeah, it looked like a car, like a finishing, you know. Yeah. Like eighties car, they have this type of finishing. Oh, you're right. Instead of that, just typical round yeah. edges or like sharp edges. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Yes, Eric, so clean, Jamal. I love this. And then if we go down, um, it's like a closer, oh, ooh, nice like a prototype. prototype. So he's swiping each. Wow, that feature. zooming is Zoom. really cool. Oh, what is that? This thing. I think that's like a location pointer. So it's discovering where each scooter is. And like, wow, that's like a AR prototype. Bird scooter, current battery. I like how it showcases hmm. how much life the scooter has. <laughs> you can reserve the scooter. Um, I've actually never tried oh, you never the tried? scooters um, before. I see Michael is going in scooters. I, oh, really? Yeah. I always like was afraid I might break it. Hmm. So, but very nice. I yeah, love the interaction. Yeah, I somehow like the zooming of the image. It's like really smooth. Oh, yes, Jamal says, thank you guys. There's an animation at the bottom. Mm -mm. Ooh, so there's more. Wow, that's like a big wow. project. Oh no, this is the animation. He's talking mm -mm. About. Oh, I love this. Just like the slide feature again, yeah. like you said of the cards. How it's kind of like going yeah. back and forth. Also, the points, it's look like a, you're looking in a camera. It's like which a, one? The points, red color dots. Oh, these red dots? Right yeah, here? that's really nice. Yeah. And I like how they're in, they're, they're using photography as well. Mm. As like, oh, I love, yeah, it just keeps showing more dots. I just wish I can click through everything. Mm. Oh, I love this. It's a nice transition. And it shows the number of the scooter, scooter location. Wow. So scooter. It's nice. Wow. Great job, Jamal. I'm going to appreciate that too. Good job, Jamal. Maybe Jamal. we'll look at another one really quick. Um, is there anything else that you're... Uh, maybe the seeing? first project he posted. Daily UI yeah, number 19? We'll see. Leaderboard design? Yeah, I always like to see how, like, how they start. <laughs> Started and then how they finished? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Um, Oh, she, Jamal also says, I had to degrade the quality so, so much, much to be able to upload it. Mm. I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah, it's like really clean. It's yeah. sharp. It was, yeah, very sharp and crisp photo. So this is a leaderboard for the daily UI mm. challenge, I'm guessing. Mm. Oh, oh, I love how clean, again, the header is. Yeah, he have that style, like the clean. Are these from the Angel mockups? Oh, yeah, uh, Angle mockups that you from use? Angle. This, I like those mockups. He's like, oh, that's so old. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, don't no, we are going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really good though, like how yeah, we it's, can look at the first project. Yeah, I think uh, everyone is designers. They know, like, okay, we'll be improving every day. Oh, absolutely. It's good to have old design sometimes. Yeah. So we can see the progress, how much he improved. Improved, right? Um, he used. Oh, so this is a mobile interface so mm. this is showcasing uh the top wrappers mm. so he has a nav uh the drop shadow leaderboard notifications um he used like a image background mm -hmm. for this i was obsessed with those two when i first started oh really the background shadows yeah. <laughs> i like the one two three how it's like clearly mentioning the the leader yeah yeah g easy also the overlay of listen it's like instead of having a button inside the card. It's like overlay. Kind of like outside yeah. of it a little bit. That's yeah, That's really like nice. It matches the same as like these number systems yeah, right yeah. here. I think he did a really good job. When yeah, he started I'm surprised this is your first yeah. Behance project. Our like, first is so bad. Wow, that's so good. That's amazing. Oh, wow, genre, rappers. Oh, With it's like cards. a tag. That's nice. Yeah, that's an interesting. I've never seen like an overlap of, of like tag. Yeah, of it's tag like, like a that. filter. Nice. Nice. Great job. Awesome job, Jamal. Thank you so much for you know submitting your perf portfolio, yeah. and it's like just amazing work. Mm -hmm. So let's look at Ahmed's. 
Papa. Ahmed. Ooh, so he, Saudi Ahmed Arabia. is from Saudi Arabia. And he also has very clean, nice design mm -hmm. work that I see. Um, and he is a interaction designer, focusing on interaction design, UI, UX, graphic, graphic design. design. That's nice. Awesome. So don't start from graphic design. I also start from graphic design. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I did a bunch of logos and print print magazines. Nice. Um, so which uh, project looking Bo through? Book Rental App. Okay. It's in a second row first. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, nice. I love that color. I don't know. I don't use these colors, but I, I always like wonder, oh, that's a caramel color. It's oh, like so caramel brown. Yeah, yeah it's I like, like so that. tasty. So let's see. Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge number five, uh, book rental app. Mm. That's a really cute app icon when that's you first see it. Nice. Because they're incorporating oh, the a book. With serif a, font. With a serif. Yeah. No, the in the left hand side they have like a thick brown with like a something written on it. Oh, where? Here. Oh. Oh, what does that say? I don't know. But book. it says books something. Book. Yeah. Oops. Cool. Um. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, maybe I would like to see like some mockups for the header. To yeah, maybe if, how it'll look like with yeah, if they use like an angle, like, like mock-up tool, they can just show it like perspective, it looks cool. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, like uh, look going down, seeing these screens for mm -hmm. the phone uh, is interesting. Yeah. Uh, again, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. putting it on a, you know, mock-up of a phone is, yeah. would be cool. But what do you think so far for like, the structure and design and layout for these interfaces. Yeah, I really like the filter they provided in the top, like time, date, what subject. It's like really good. Mm -hmm. Also, I like the color they're maintaining. Mm -hmm. The theme, the overall theme, instead of using a black, they're using this caramel like for font, headings, yeah. description. That's really like smart move. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, Maybe the green, the only the green feels <laughs> like out of the the uh, con uh like the, the theme contra. yeah the, the, it can be it can be brown the, if they pick that that will be really nice right i think it's also like kind of we always associate green as like adding or like yeah. going somewhere and uh red to like decline or uh oh. friend or something mm -mm -mm. but um maybe making it like a foresty green yeah kind of matching this whole dark like the earthy tone for color yeah uh but as far as like structure, I think he's did really well. Yeah, the, having these, you know. I think the content hierarchy is like really, like understandable to anyone. Yeah. Also, the font size is really big. For rent. Yeah, it's like that's <laughs> really good sometimes. Part. No. <laughs> Ahmed says thank you guys. Yes, awesome job, Ahmed. Yeah. Um, maybe also uh, changing, making the gray yeah, in the, the background gray. a little lighter. Yeah. Or, um, but overall, very good. Absolutely nice. work. And I like how when UX you design. click UX design book to rent. Mm -hmm. Oh, it will be X. That's nice. Yeah, it, it shows you that. And then you can like confirm your checkout. Mm -mm -mm. And then also it shows you the price per day. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. You can rent a UX design book for $1 a day. $1 a day. Also, it Great mentioned job. the name. Who the, I always want to have this type of book. I always, someone will take my book. They don't return me. <laughs> you got to contact them. Yeah. You got to be like, I need my book back. Awesome. Well, I appreciate this project too. That's nice. Great work. Uh, let's see, what other projects are there? Ooh, we have this like cool pink, pink. newsletter. Or Maybe we can check his recent fitness app. The fitness app? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So this is called Run, Run. Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge wow. fitness app. He love it, Adobe XD. Yes, that's awesome. Ooh, cool. So again, the same format, uh, having a header and then yeah. three screens. Um, I recommend using mockups mock for phones. Using angle to be like in one second, they can put in mockups. Mm -hmm. But oh, uh, look at this color, like the dark yeah. blue with the light blue with the... Also the glow behind the run, the it's run, like... Like a neon backdrop. Neon. Very cool, very cool. Uh, so it's a fitness app. Come on. This is the navigation. Uh, very simple mm. um, and then the middle I guess it's showing you uh, when you run 20 kilometers Wow, the neon kilometers. finishing that's nice yeah I also like the timer 
like the font they use below. Uh huh. It's like digi. Yeah, digital pixelated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very that's cool. really cool. Um, and like how the this lines. is a unique line to mm. separate each category. Yeah, that's clean. Oh, there's also a cycling option, which is mm. cool. Awesome. Um, one thing I recommend is the neon blue is kind of mixing with the background mm -hmm, blue, mm -hmm. where maybe making your pathway or your workout more visible. Also, yeah, instead of making this, I like the neon, maybe the roads can be less opacity. Yeah, or maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, a little showcase. bit darker. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. And then uh, for 20 kilometers, I like how big and bold it is. Yeah. Uh, do you think, is there any other changes do you think yeah, for these two? I think maybe the next version they can have like a small like a tooltip uh -huh. like showing like 20 kilometer or something like a destination where they start uh, where they end the trip maybe yeah. like a small location I like how on the heart rate it's like oh I thought that was a question mark but it's 77 never mind I feel like there is no heart rate <laughs> hmm. um cool and then also the last screen is the stats stats so Water. I guess this is like also measuring have you drank enough water mm. have you had enough sleep and calories I like the calories one. you burned or probably ate so good instead of showing in a single graph they split into different graphs that's yeah. also nice I like view. how it's each a different color too yeah and then I think you mentioned how um, using the same color but different hues different and tones hues, yeah so this is a good that's example like a really nice example yeah Awesome. Good job, Ahmed. Uh, and then let's look at more projects here. Maybe we can look at some web project. We don't. What do you think about X Player? What was that? X Player. It's in a second oh, row, second. Wow. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. He used your blobs. blobs. <laughs> that you like. Blobs yeah. time. Oh, I love that. Um, Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge number four, music player desktop app. Awesome. This is, um, so this is clean. A music player. Oh, I love how we use like the, <laughs> the big color is really the photo, but, um, oh, so it's a podcast. Hmm. I was like, wait, how does this with like deal with music? But, mm -mm -mm. uh, it makes sense with the computers. How do you like the layout, overall layout of the Yeah, I uh, feel podcast. the layout is really clean. Whenever I see like left and right, I really like those. Uh -huh. It's easy to like navigate. Uh, so it's like people are used to those type of navigation we've seen in Windows, Mac. We always have like a left and right like mm -hmm. navigation. So I feel yeah. that's really good. Um, UX. What about like the highlighting of like home and like showcasing which section he's in? Yeah, maybe the highlight can be like much more like brighter. Maybe the yellow color they used here uh -huh. in the player. Yeah. yeah, the highlight is not that much clear which section I am. Mm -hmm. Um, I like how like how he did the hierarchy for like yeah, the, that's really nice. The header and then the spacing's really nice. Mm -mm. Kind of reminds me of like Spotify or like Apple Music yeah. type of vibe. But, uh, I, but the theme is, the theme they are maintaining is really cool. The mm -hmm. brown and the... Yeah, like the, what did you say, caramelization yeah. colors. Um, so yeah, he has that theme. unique, like a style. That's what I like in people. Some people have that unique style. Yeah, I, and then that's what you found unique yeah. about this one. That's awesome. Um, and it shows you like the number of the episode, mm -hmm. the title and artist of the episode, album. Love. You can also have like a favorite option, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, very great job. Very nice. I feel this have to be in the top. I really like this UI. This one? Yeah. Ooh, well, I'm gonna appreciate that. Awesome work. Yeah, also in portfolio, you have to just move around, which mm -hmm. is your favorite project to the top. I just oh, move that. Really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, that was a great job, Ahmed. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. submitting your portfolio. And um, yeah, I would super appreciate excited. that. It's like showing the portfolio to everyone. It's like really brave. Yeah. It's nice. Cool. Well, uh, did we want to go to your screen and um, showcase everything that we've done today? Yeah. So we can quickly review what have we done. Yeah. So let's go to our uh, BMI Clout yeah. app. 
We so, made an app icon with yeah. the plugin. So we made an app icon and we exported into like icon folder. Like we made like a whole icon set, mm -hmm. like Android iOS. So it's like using a plugin. Very cool. And we made a whole like app. It's like a big app. You can quickly calculate your BMI and we prototype it using like micro interaction. Wow. And we use like Adobe XT record feature to mm -hmm. record uh, like a really big video. Like we recorded it using the prototype. Yeah. Feature, yeah. We can, yeah. if you want to put it in mockup, you can use Photoshop or After Effects to put in a perspective view mm -hmm. to share in Behance wow. and all your like profile. And we all did that today. Yeah, it's that's like amazing. That's how fast it's like really unbelievable. Wow. Uh, and then yes, you can join our Slack channel for 2019 future challenges and updates. So uh, Val has sent us the Adobe Slack uh, channel. Adobe Slack, that's cool. Very cool. Uh, the next thing we did is like we reviewed like two, three plugins. Mm -hmm. uh, the first plugin is Mimic. Uh, Mimic is like if you just enter the website name, it will give you all the colors they have used. Uh -huh. That's super helpful. If you're a beginner, you can start using those colors. And UI face, everyone love that. Oh, you everyone can... love that. No yeah. more searching for, you know, yeah. your stock images. Everything and is masking in one everything. Plugin. Yeah. And this is like a pattern. You can use pattern plugin. If someone want to take a screenshot, they can take a screenshot from a video. These are the plugins I use. Yeah. But there are hundreds of plugins. Very cool. Uh, so this is like a plugin. This is the smart plugin. Like we use Google, Google Sheets. Google Sheets, yes. To just pull like data from like really live Excel sheet. Very cool. Uh, so this is like a my favorite plugin. Uh, so copying a chart or making a chart like really quickly. Mm -hmm. So you can generate whatever chart you can make. Love that. <laughs> um, that's it. Wow. Well, we just figured out Finan. everything yeah. that Johnny Vino loves about plugins. Yeah. And he, you know, gave us a t t tutorial about micro interactions. And yeah, that's just the perfect way to end the, t the last yeah. stream of 2018. 2018. Yes. I'm so sad. I know. Well, there'll be more in 2019. Yeah. Yes. I'll be coming again. And more cool stuff. But. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you again, everybody, for joining our last stream of 2018. It was such an honor to be hosting Johnny Vino. Uh, make sure to join our Slack channel and uh, be updated on future challenges and sticking around with us. So have a good rest of your week, everybody, and yeah. have a safe happy holiday. Happy Christmas. Yes. Happy, happy holidays. Christmas. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Last stream. <laughs>